What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to the first official trailer to the Dark Tower. So, The Dark Tower is uh, an adaptation of a Stephen King property, I believe it is. So, um, here's the thing. I don't know anything about The Dark Tower. I, I heard it's really good, but I heard the book is really big and really good, so I, I haven't had the time to get into that. So, that's, that's just me being honest, me and being upfront about it. But, what I do know is Idris Elba, uh oh, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. And they're pretty awesome. So it'll be interesting to see just uh, what this is all about. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So let's just check out this trailer. Then I'll give my thoughts and impressions. I'm just really excited to see Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I know, that was, that was a terrible impression. And here we go. Here's a mini trailer for your official trip. Okay, then. For thousands of generations, the gunslingers were knights. Sworn to protect us from the coming of the dark. Hmm. These visions, as you call them. What do you see? They see a tower. The man in black. And the gunslinger. They're just strings. They're not real, Jake. There's another world out there. I know there is. Oh. Who are you? It's you. You're a gunslinger, right? There are no gunslingers. Not anymore. Why does the man in black want to destroy the tower? The tower protects both our worlds. If it falls, hell will be unleashed. Oh, okay. He's like the devil, isn't he? No, he's worse. You can't stop what's coming. Death always wins. Your world might be gone, but mine isn't. If you let that tower fall, billions of people die. And bullets in your world. You're gonna like Earth a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You clawing your way out of the darkness? Did you tell the kid whoever walks with you dies by my hand? I will kill him for both of us. This is epic. I cannot aim at my hand. <laughs> His hand has forgotten the face of his father. I aim with my eye. I do not shoot with my hand. I shoot with my mind. <laughs> I do not kill with my gun. I can dig it. I can dig it. This is this is a very interesting universe, uh, world. I feel like <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is like some in, in some way condensed. Uh, I feel like the, the premise of this and the history of this goes long and deep reaching uh, in this this world that Stephen King has created of the Dark Tower uh, universe or whatever this may be. So I feel like this feels like the condensed version of it. I feel like there's probably people who read the book like, oh, you think they cut out the, the thing where they go to the thing and then what is this? But either way, it feels like this is a very straightforward uh telling of a story and it looks like it's going to be a straightforward tale and it was kind of concerning for for a lot of us who were awaiting the this film ever since it was announced that this was happening uh i was just excited from the announcement of idris elba and you know uh, matthew mcconaughey working together and, and doing a movie together but for the idea that uh, this film comes out on in august on august 4th 
we're just now getting a trailer. A little, little concerning, but at the same time, you think about John Wick, the trailer for John Wick didn't come out until like three weeks before the movie came out or something like that. It's like something preposterous, but John Wick was awesome, you know? It, you know, there's different marketing ploys to being able to sell your film. Sometimes you know that with other things in the mindset of different people, you know, people are thinking about Guardians of the Galaxy weeks in advance, people are thinking about other things weeks in advance, so it's just best yeah, it's probably best case scenario to wait and hold out your trailer to build up anticipation at that very right moment. I don't know, maybe that was their method, or maybe they're holding back because the film's crap. Probably not. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, I know, of course, I've seen plenty of trailers for very terrible, uh, for very great trailers for terrible films, but nevertheless, that shouldn't take away the fact that we should be optimistic about this film. And real, honestly, I have no reason besides like the temp, like the, the, you know, the kind of taking a step back of like, Ooh, I don't know, why are they releasing this trailer so late? You know, putting that aside, there's nothing to worry about. It's just about staying optimistic. It looks like a really fun, awesome, engaging film. Uh, don't know if it'll be rated R. Kind of looks like it's rated R. Don't know. I don't think it said anything about the, the rating, but it, it looks really interesting. It looked, it looked like it was getting a little, little dark and, and violent. Who knows? But, uh, you know, it's always great to have Matthew McConaughey in a film. <laughs> It's like the darkness is coming. All right, and there's no stopping it, okay? It's just gonna happen. So either way, you know, I, you know, I enjoyed the character interactions and Idris Elba looks awesome. It, he looks like cool. So it, it's gonna be really awesome to see what they end up coming out with and what the end result of this film is going to be. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about the Dark Tower trailer in the comment sections down below. And also, if you've read the book or know anything about the property, let me know all about it. Well, not in a spoiler sense, like, and they all die in the end, no, not like that. But just let me know about the property in general. Uh, is, it worth, is the book worth picking up and reading? Let me know in the comments section sections down below. Let me know all these things, guys. I'd really appreciate that. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you like my reaction and my review, go down there and hit that like button. And if you're new here, eh, maybe subscribe. Thank you so much for all your time and all your support. I really do appreciate it. I've been Daniel, and don't forget to get geeky.